Hi friends, my name is Adam from Powerbelt 3D, and I have seen this question posed all over the internet. How do you configure Marlin firmware for a conveyor belt 3D printer? This could be intimidating because a conveyor belt 3D printer seems a lot different from a traditional 3D printer, but it's actually a lot easier than you would think. There's really only three simple things that you need to change in the firmware to get up and running. Let's get started. First, let's download Marlin firmware. We can go to the download section on the website and hit download. And we're also going to want to download all of the configuration files. These are pre-configured firmware variants for different popular 3D printers. So we can click on a download and then this takes us over to GitHub. We can hit the down arrow next to code and then hit download zip to get those as well. I have unzipped both the Marlin firmware and the configurations folder. And just to keep things simple, let's do a configuration for an Ender 3, considering it is the most common 3D printer out there, it seems like a good place to start. So let's pick out the Ender 3. You can choose any of these boards that you might be configuring Marlin for, but let's just choose the Creality V422 board, which I think is the most common at this point, but honestly, it's hard to keep track of. We're going to copy all of these files, and then we can jump over to Marlin. In the Marlin folder, you'll see a configuration and configuration advanced file. We can paste all four of those files into this folder and hit replace so that the default Marlin configuration files will be overwritten with the ones for the Ender 3. Now in Visual Studio Code, we want to open our Marlin folder. So we'll go to File, Open Folder. navigate to our firmware folder and open up Marlin. Say yes, we trust the authors, and then we're going to want to open up configuration.h where we can make our changes. Like I mentioned, there are just three small changes that we need to make to Marlin. The first has to do with the Z size limit. So we can hit Control F and type in size. This brings us to the X, Y, and Z limits. And just to be safe, we will change our Z max position to 99999. That way we can print infinitely long models on our belt printer. We can scroll down a little bit. The next thing that we want to do is turn off our software end stops for Z. Normally, this helps prevent the 3D printer from crashing into either the minimum position or maximum position of the heat bed, but because our z-axis is now a conveyor belt and can move infinitely in either direction, we don't really need these software-defined end stops. So we can just comment out the z minimum and maximum end stops. We can save our progress because the next thing that we want to change is in configuration advanced or configuration underscore adv.h. We can open that up and again we can hit control F to find and we are looking for M808. This is a G code loop marker that was added shortly after the Creality CR30 was released, as far as I understand. And this is a unique way to be able to print one model over and over again while you're using one g-code file without the need to copy paste copy paste the entirety of the code so we are going to uncomment this line to enable that function we will save our progress again and now you're ready to compile your firmware and upload it to whatever control board you happen to be using. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you found it helpful and informative if you are trying to build your own conveyor belt 3D printer. Make sure to treat your fellow humans kindly and happy printing.